With all this rain constantly licking the surface of the Earth, won't the Earth eventually wash away, making the Earth flat as a pancake? Mmm, tasty. You would think so, wouldn't you? With all this erosion, why do we have all these landforms? Including really big landforms like mountains. Well, that brings us to the question of the day. Where do mountains come from? Oh, you're going to like this. Here it comes. And there it is, plate tectonics. That's probably something you've never heard of before, huh? It's true, my friends. The reason we have mountains is because of plate tectonics. If we didn't have plate tectonics, nature would lick the earth like a lollipop until all the land was gone. Which means we wouldn't have things like this mountain, this arch, or even this hoodoo. In fact, if we didn't have plate tectonics, all the land in the world would wash into the ocean because of erosion. Except for a few islands, planet Earth would be all water. Okay, so what's the deal with plate tectonics? How does all this mountain building happen? Let's imagine an extra large pizza. Ooh, looks like pepperoni. As we all know, pizza has this cheesy middle part, while the outer edge of the pizza has a crust. I don't always eat the crust. Well, just like a pizza, planet Earth has a crust too. Except you can't eat it. When you ride your bike on the dirt, you're actually riding on the Earth's crust. In fact, everything you see on the Earth, buildings, roads, and bridges, are built on top of the Earth's crust. But one thing is for sure, the Earth's crust is much thicker than a pizza crust. How thick? Well, if you dig a hole, you'll need to dig about 30 miles to reach the bottom of the crust. That's as long as driving on the freeway for 30 minutes. Now that's a long way. But unlike pizza crust, the Earth's crust is broken into a bunch of different pieces that all fit together like a puzzle. The entire planet is broken into different pieces of Earth crust that are so big, they kind of look like plates. Now some plates are bigger than other plates and some make up the land we stand on, while others are found at the bottom of the ocean. And for those keeping score, there are 52 different plates that make up the surface of planet Earth. Now the interesting thing about these giant plates of Earth crust is that they never stop to take a nap. These thick plates sit on top of a goo called the mantle, which slowly moves the plates around the Earth in different directions and different speeds. They don't move very fast, just about one inch a year, but sometimes more and sometimes less, depending on the plate. With all these plates moving around, they're bound to smash into each other, kind of like bumper cars. And when two plates smash together, it forces one of the plates to push up over the other plate. And when that happens, you get mountains. Phew, so there you have it. Mountains are created from plate tectonics, the smashing together of the Earth's crust. But you should also know that some mountains are created from volcanoes. But that's another story for another day. So that explains why the Earth isn't flat as a pancake. Even though Mother Nature constantly licks the Earth with rain, making everything smaller, Plate tectonics is constantly creating more mountains for Mother Nature to lick. The Earth is alive and in constant motion, just like Doogie. Sweet.